Hey there, story time. When I was about 11 or 12, I was up really late past my bedtime and I turned on the TV and PBS was airing Joni Mitchell's Shadows and Light in concert. And I would later figure out that this was probably one of the most important and epic concerts in history. You see, Joni's choice of musicians to perform with her in that particular show would be Pat Metheny on lead guitar, Jaco Pastorius on bass, a young Lyle Mays playing the synthesizer, Michael Brecker on saxophone, oh, and some backup vocals from the Persuasions. By the way, the video and audio of this concert is currently represented or owned by WMG, and if I were to so much as put a tiny clip of it up there, they would not try to demonetize my video, they would fight to take the entire video down. Really nice guys. All right, so in this concert, there's a little intermission, but during the intermission, Jaco Pastorius walks out on stage, plays a tiny little phrase into a tape loop pedal, and then plays this incredible solo over it. And the crowd goes wild, and for some reason, despite this concert having such an epic lineup and historical significance, that is the one part that stuck with me the most. So I grew up and went on to follow in Jaco's footsteps and perform improvised loop sets for the next 20 years. However, I would perform at a small bar with 30 people trying to scream over the music, and I'm also not 10% as talented as Jaco Pistorius. But in this tiny brain, I was following in Jocko's footsteps. Anyway, the reason I'm telling you this boring autobiography is a testament to how much I've loved and used looping over the years, except the actual devices I was using to play loop sets always left something to be desired or had some sort of bug that made things really frustrating. Sadly, if you can name a multi-track looper, I either currently have it, have had it at some point, or it just lacks a basic feature like stereo ins and outs or MIDI. Welp, a somewhat new company has entered the game with a really ambitious new looper. And at first I was a little bit apprehensive, not only because I have spent a small fortune on loopers only to trade one shortcoming for another, but I also can't really perform live right now because of this. But my curiosity nor my spending money could be contained and I picked this guy up and yep, it's easily the best looper money can buy. So this is the Singular Sound Eros Loop Studio, which is a stereo looper that supports six parallel tracks, six different loop parts for a total of 36 distinct loops per song. These 36 distinct loops per song are in 24-bit audio and the entire unit has under one millisecond of latency. There is a nice touchscreen for song customization and settings. There is an endless foot-friendly scroll wheel and there is MIDI in and out for quantizing tracks. It also has stereo auxiliary in and out. It has an SD card for everything from updating the firmware to storing extra projects or samples, although you don't need the SD card to do that because this also has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to update itself and hopefully that will be used for project editing in the future. I know at some point someone's going to be watching this video and say, hey, what about the Headrush Looper Board? Is that not the most powerful looper in the world? Well, a little bit over a year ago, I spent over a thousand hours on one to update my gear for live performances. And I just had a lot of problems with stability and functionality limitations, enough to make me send it back because I just couldn't depend on it for a live show. Now, if y'all over at Headrush want me to give it a second look, feel free to contact me. But until then, let's just put that on pause. Another singular sound product that I have my hands on is the Beat Buddy. And the funny thing about this is that a couple months ago, my father actually mentioned this to me. He's a guitarist and he was just looking for a little pedal to practice on. And I told him, you know what? A $300 drum pedal is probably not the best idea considering that you could get like a little Alesis SR16 programmable drum machine for half of that. Well, Pops, I'm sorry about that. I was wrong. This is not a simple PCM drum machine pedal. This is actually a sampler. And you can load all your own samples or make your own patterns or make your own pattern chains or make your own songs all within an editor on the computer. Then you can just trigger all of these changes with your foot. And you don't really need that much practice or learning curve to do it. And for example, this is just a default pattern that it ships with. So check this out. So you have a visual metronome on here. One, two, three, four, one, two, intro beat starting now. So this is our main beat. And now if I want to put a fill in there, I just press this. I have up to three fills on this particular beat.
Okay, so now if I want a different beat, I hold this down and it will start the transition into a beat. I think it'll probably have the hi-hat open more or something. Or a ride cymbal. And then when we're ready for our song to finish, we can just have a simple outro by double tapping. That's pretty damn cool. So naturally, the Beat Buddy and the Aero Sloop Studio work seamlessly together. And if you combined these with any of the multi-effects products that I've covered in the last month, you would have yourself a very complete and powerful improvised guitar setup, either just for playing and having fun at home or for performing whenever you can do that. Finally, if you want to make those two things or your entire rig more powerful, there is the MIDI Maestro. The Maestro is an extremely customizable MIDI foot controller that has a different screen for each button. If you need more than six buttons, you could actually customize your interface to have different pages. Of course, you could load custom labeled buttons for custom labeled functions for all of your songs, which sounds like a bit of a editing headache. However, it's not because you could do it on your phone or tablet via Bluetooth. Now, I realize that some of my viewers are not gonna be that excited about a MIDI foot controller. However, if you are the type of musician who's been trying to control MIDI with your feet over the years, you realize that the offerings haven't been all that great. For example, I have the Roland FC30, which I spent over $500 on to control my BG99, and that's not even really that customizable. Or I have the Behringer one, which by the way, is so big that it doesn't fit into any case, and that's only editable if you buy and solder in a custom chip, seriously. Somewhere in a box in my garage, I have a Rocktron MIDI Mate, which only sends out MIDI PC signals. In the last couple of years and more recent shows, I've actually been using three of the Solman controllers, which are actually great, but they do cost $250 each. So that concludes my argument for the MIDI Maestro being a very welcomed piece of gear for any instrumentalist trying to build an elaborate rig. Sadly, I'm not gonna be using the MIDI Maestro in this particular video because because I kind of just want to blindly improvise some looping on the Beat Buddy and Eros, and I want to show you how they function on their own. Speaking of that, I haven't performed since January and I haven't exactly been practicing my looping skills. So I did these takes without any idea or prep of what I was going to play. I just sort of went at it. So excuse any sloppiness. While the Eros is the most featured and powerful looper I have ever used, looping in general is very unforgiving.
With all the guitar stuff that I've accumulated in the last month, I've been really tempted to do a sort of live stream doing improvised looping and whatnot. And the only thing stopping me is Comcast's abysmal upload speed cap. I literally pay for a gigabit connection, but my upload speed is capped so low that I can't even stream a 1080p video without a lot of buffering issues. Obviously, I've contacted Comcast about this a bunch of times and they're of no help. And I realize that bitching about it on this channel is a huge stab in the dark. But if anybody knows of a way to increase your upload speed with cable internet companies like this, let me know. So the Singular Sound Trilogy, the Eros Loop Studio costs $599. The Beat Buddy and the MIDI Maestro cost $299 each, which oddly add up to the exact amount that the government is putting on checks that they're sending to over a million dead people instead of me. So thumbs up. Great job, Singular Sound. Even though nobody can perform right now, all of your products are incredibly fun to play with. All of these products work really well with just about anything you throw at them, so they will probably make appearances in this channel in the future. If you wanna support me or this channel, I have like 23 hours of music on Bandcamp, or you can follow me on Instagram or TikTok or elsewhere for a blend of music, techie, and outdoorsy content. All of those links are right there in the description. And as always, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. If there's anything you want me to cover in the future, let me know in the comments. Bye.